This week on Style on Toast. Hi guys, today we have. We <laughs> <laughs> have nothing! We have nothing! Hi guys, today we have another Christmas gift idea, and the general theme is um, kind of filled things. So, like, we have jars, we have little mini jars that are actually technically spice jars from right here, mm -hmm. and we have um, clear baubles which you can buy from pretty much anywhere, but I bought them from eBay. So, let's just kind of run through. What we have we've got. Well, the pretense is. is everything is pretty much homemade. Yes. All these gift ideas are homemade. Now, the baubles. Let's start with the baubles, shall let's we? Start let's start with the baubles. I bought this bauble from Asda, as you can see, and I like the fact that it's filled with all these pastel colour baubles. Or not baubles, they're like spongy things, aren't they? And I just liked felt. Yes, mm, felt. Fuzzy balls. <clears throat> fuzzy balls. <laughs> And I liked the idea of filling baubles with things. I know that it's not a very new idea, but... It's not know. all that. I mean, I think it's something that's been around for a little while, but it's more been things that people do themselves. Haven't seen tons and tons of them no. to buy. And the ones that you can buy are quite expensive, so... I know you can buy ones with, um, like, you put photographs in them and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Make them more personalised. But we've gone for different theme here today. We have gone for... We've gone for baubles for the tree and also gift ideas. So I've bought like gifts inside of a bauble. That could have a necklace in it even. I'm that could. Have a necklace, but it could be a <coughs> Should we start with what we've got? First mm. one. This is just beads. So you just like get tree beads. tree beads. And they're basically a pound from Asda and you get them all different colours. But we've gone for purple today. We're going for quite a purple theme, aren't we? So that is just a string of baubles. Not bubbles, string of string. String of string. String of string. String, string, of string beads. I got from Asda a pound inside there. Quite nice effect, I think. Yeah, and cheap. We've also got a little bit of tinsel. Now this tinsel was real small um, amount of tinsel that's almost kind of wiry and it made it a little bit easier to put in here because you could kind of control it and make it a ball before you put it in the ball ball. So I really like that. I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, I really like the idea that you can make them different every year. So you can invest in the ball balls and then they can kind of change the colours of the things you put inside mm -hmm. or you can personalise something for someone else, whatever you want. But it was definitely easier because this was a slightly wiry tinsel. Mm -hmm. Um, the next one was slightly more difficult, yeah. a little bit um, messier and just more difficult to kind of contain in the actual bubble. There were bits coming out of it when you tried to close <clears> the two halves <throat> together. It was quite messy because it's shredded paper. Yeah, so. but it just gives it's the like snow. Well, it's a snowball effect, isn't yeah. it? Effectively. So yeah, it's like a probably going to go with pretty much any colour scheme as well, mm -hmm. and super cheap because it is just shredded paper in there. You could put shredded newspaper. Yeah, like that's anything, a good idea. anything at all. I really like the idea of shredded newspaper actually. Something yeah. kind of black and white or like um, music paper. Music Sheep paper music would be paper cool. would be really cute. Wrapping paper. Yeah, anything, anything at all. Um, and these were the bigger size, but you can get them in any size. You get much, much smaller ones. And I'll leave all the links to everything that we bought from eBay and stuff below. The next idea we had was to um, fill them with gifts, and this basically could work for anything because they are quite big baubles like I say the smaller ones are going to be obviously slightly more constricting but these ones you could pretty much fit most small gifts would go in here mm -hmm. um, and what we have in here is lipsticks and nail polishes which well, I why not because you are Miss Budget Beauty <laughs> this is right so we're filling them with female gifts yeah, today but you can fill them with um, things and yeah and but seasonal. also you can fill them for different like for men you can put different things in there for yeah, men absolutely like I don't know mini aftershaves or something yeah. some like moisturiser some like Men's toiletry type. A things. watch. A watch. Would be oh, cool. a watch. Yeah. And they would never expect a watch in a bauble. <laughs> a watch. <laughs> kids, you can fill them with toys, little toys, stuffed toys or, for kids, or da -da 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 -da. sweet. So what do we have in this one? We have got. Mm. Um, are they like Smarties? Yeah, they're kind of like generic Smarties again. Yeah, an eBay so, find. Yeah, you get so them in any colour. Green and red, very festive. We've got jelly beans because everybody loves jelly beans. And then we have got um, candy canes that we've crushed up. And put For a them. laugh. Yeah, put them there. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> More like smaller, easier to eat pieces. Crush up some candy canes. Exactly. Makes it a little bit different. Yeah, but the colour scheme's good, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And you can put whatever ribbon or string, whatever you want in each of them and hang them, or you can just give them as a gift. Whatever you want. And then you can even seal them up with some cell tape to make sure that they don't kind of come apart. We haven't really seen that as being an issue, so long as the stuff inside is not kind of like too heavy or anything like that. So, yeah. Is this my gift? This probably, no. No, it's what? My, yes, my but you've got your lip. You can have the sweets. I don't want a sweets, I want a lipstick. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing, we have got food in jars. Well, not necessarily food, this is hot chocolate. And all we've done is we've got one of these jars. What are these jars called? Kiln the jars. Kiln the jars. Any jar you want, and it just seems to be a real cool thing at the moment. Jam jars, jars. Jam jars are cool. People love it. 
mm. and mason jars and people it's just really trendy. Yeah, people have drinks out of jars now. Yeah, don't they? exactly. They're yeah, very trendy. So kilner jars is, I didn't know what these were called. Mm -hmm. So we've just basically put hot chocolate in there and then we've put in there ginger and cinnamon, cinnamon. and nutmeg. And nutmeg. Yeah, we grated some nutmeg. Mm -hmm. So we put that in there, mixed it all together, so it's just like a spicy hot chocolate. And a bit custom, a bit different, you've done something to it. I to think make it a bit more everybody personalized. loves hot chocolate. Yeah. Christmas time. Like it's a bit different, you know. It's yeah. not kind of your the same thing that everyone's gonna buy everyone. So I just no. think it's really cute. And you've you've took the trouble and the time mm -hmm. to actually make it. And then we've added a little bit of ribbon and it just looks really cute. It's something that you can make even if you can't really make a lot of things. Yeah. Something, you know, if you're a teenager and you don't really have access to maybe cooking facilities or you don't really <laughs> want to be doing that kind of thing. You can't cook. Basically, oh, can't cook, won't cook, whatever. <laughs> um, it's just a really nice idea of a custom kind of slightly cooking -y kind of idea, a DIY yeah. present without actually having to do all that much. Next, I used these jars, which are actually spice jars from Ikea. They were really affordable and you can pretty much use them for anything. I kind of considered filling them with sweets. Um, you can do much the same as you can with the baubles. You can just put bits and pieces in them, you can put makeup in them if you want to, whatever. Um, but what I decided to do was um, fill them with ingredients for flapjack. So in one of them we have oats, in the other one we have uh, some golden syrup, and in the last one we have some brown sugar. And so it's kind of a present that's also um, an activity. Yeah. And so you'd kind of give, give them this with a recipe sheet or something. Uh, and it's basically all the dry slash wet ingredients <laughs> um, for whatever you want to make. So you can do that with like cookie mixtures or cake mixtures, whatever you want. And it's just a cute, again, personalized gift that involves very little real effort because you're not really making the things, you're just giving them the tools to do it for themselves. The next thing we've got is cooking in a jar, which didn't actually work out. But essentially because the jar is too big, I think if we'd have used a smaller jar like this one, it would have worked. If it was slightly more narrow, because the idea is that it would look layered in the actual jar. Um, and unfortunately the amount of the ingredients that we actually used weren't enough. So either you need to really increase the amount of stuff that you're <laughs> yeah. using, or use a much smaller jar. It's, just, it's a very, very effective idea. I love the la I love the layering effect, but as you can see, it didn't really work. Didn't but, really work. You know, we just wanted to put it out there that it is an idea. So this is an it's idea, an idea you, but it we didn't could work. do it. So, but it's an idea. So that is it for our fill jar slash bauble Christmas present, <laughs> Christmas tree ideas. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this video and we've found some good hints and tips for making gifts for people. If you've got any ideas, if you've done this yourself, if you've got any particular things you've seen that you think are really cool ideas, leave them in the comments. Um, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Next week on Starland Toast. That's mine. Okay, good. So, sure. we're going to ice them differently, Milo. Do you want to know how we're going to ice them? Yeah. Yeah.